everyone. Welcome to today's Daily Bread, Prophetic Retrieving Encouragement. For someone, Father God wanted me to let you know he is proud of your growth. He is proud that you decided to lay down toxic behavior and to do your best to change and to come to him and ask him what was in you that needed to be changed so he could show you and you be accepting of it and take accountability of the things that he showed you. He has great things in store for you. He has blessings, favor, rewards, and surprises for you. Continue to do what he has been leading you to do. Continue to stay humble. Continue to be before him in prayer. Getting your your revelation from him. Though people may try to discredit you, come against you, expose you, or mock or try to humiliate you or do whatever it is that the enemy does when he arises in those people, keep fighting the good fight of faith for Father God in the name of Jesus Christ. Never let no one deter you off your righteous path. Never let nobody get you off the name of Jesus Christ. Also remember, love trumps all evil. Love trumps pride. Love trumps arrogance. But in love, you also want to use your wisdom and the the wisdom and the knowledge and from the life experience that you have obtained thus far. Remembering to pay attention to your surroundings. Pay attention so you'll be aware when Father God starts showing you certain signs that he talking to you. Because you want to know what? you Father God don't want us to get so complacent or lazy or comfortable in him talking to us, talking to us one specific way. To when he's trying to show you a sign in another way. It's going over your head. You're just not seeing it until it's too late, right? So be be mindful. Keep your eyes open. Pay attention to nature. Pay attention to your dreams. Write your dreams down. Write down what you're seeing in nature. Remember to speak life into your life daily. Because you always have an enemy somewhere in a hidden place, spiritually or physically, that either they're speaking negativity or against your life or trying to work negativity into your life. So you're going to counteract their negativity by speaking life over your life, right? Speak to the dry areas or the dry bones of your life. You command life into them. You understand what I mean? You command favor into your life. You command what you want to see to be become to become, um, how do you say, to be brought to fruition in your life. Remembering, yes, there's going to be people that want to um, copycat everything that you do. They want to talk how you talk all the way down to the very T. But guess what? They still not doing it better than you. And you should take it as an honor that even if they try to use how you talk, but then speak down on you at the same time, you still take it as an honor because some of them don't even realize that they have absorbed so much of your goodness that they speaking and talking like you. They don't even realize that they're doing that. So don't look at the negative aspect of it. Look at it as though that's your influence is growing because if you keep looking at the negative of, oh, everybody copying me, and da, 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 da. first of all it's a good sign that you got people copying you though it, it can be aggravating but then that's your relationship with father god and him you really working on it not letting it offend you because if he tell you he gonna bless you with influence you can't curse the influence away so like you gonna have to find a positive righteous way to deal with how you're viewing it view it as this is the evidence thereof that your that father god has indeed increased your influence he has indeed increased your anointing otherwise why they they wouldn't be wanting to do nothing like how you do it they wouldn't want to talk how you talk and that's also another way for some of you guys to know that the persecution is is the the warfare is ending 
you you father god has put turned where people where men or women's hearts was hardened towards you because it was your season of persecution even if it was brought on by the enemy right if god allowed it he allowed it you don't come out keep continuously holding on to the negative you see where he has changed it for you otherwise you're going to delay the breakthrough and the blessing even more because you're still looking at the past where what can you see now that has changed right you see now they're more willing to be around you or, or speak or, or smile or at least be accepting where everybody was more standoffish. Now they're not. So be willing to see the good and not just meditate on the negative because he could let it happen again, right? You don't want him to, you or you don't want to draw it or uh, how you say, because you know how they be, how it's like, whatever you focus on you're gonna call it's gonna magnetize it to you so if you focus on oh they gonna they copy me they gonna drown me out by stealing my stuff and people gonna think that it was them no father god your originality your authenticness is gonna speak for itself regardless it don't matter if a new person see them first or not by the time a person come and see you if that is what's supposed to happen they gonna know who is authentic and who is who is the imposter or who is the copycat or not, right? Or who just inspired by you and they may just talk how you talk from time to time or use certain things so that you know that they do listen to you. It's a different aspect of how you look at it. Don't just look at it from the negative because if you ask for increased influence, it all comes along with it. But are you going to see the goodness? Are you going to only see the bad? Because if you only see the bad, that lets you know in situations in life, you you allow the bad to be mag- magnetized, and that's where your focus is. Do you ever focus on the positive, or do you ever try to search the positive in the, in the situation? Because you know He don't want us. God, Father, God don't want us to be grappling or grumbling, grumbling and complaining. So find a reason to praise Him in it on your own accord without it having to always be brought to your attention try to it's the same as him expecting us to try to self-correct and take accountability before he has to to place a judgment he gonna check we're gonna get a chastisement regardless but he can be merciful in his chastisement or he can be merciless in chastisement right so it's the same as you gotta still take accountability you still want to be aware of it show him that you see it otherwise that's how you get him that's like if you don't show him that you see the goodness even when it's hardship going around or or persecution it's like he'll be slow to show his hand uh, answer you to where like you know how you know when you got God ear and when you got his his favor on like he got you got favor with him Cause he'll answer you more more often but the more you gripe or you get complacent in him having his head in a favor extended to you like that if you get complacent in it and think it's just and get entitled like he's just supposed to extend his hand to you and you always look at negative he extended his hand to you but anytime somebody come against you 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 just gotta complain and then and only look at the negative and harbor on to the toxicness of it but he got his hand extended to you and that person who the people who come against you they wish that they could have that don't make you better than them they just got to put in the work spiritually with him by building their own relationship with him but you can't copy that you can't copy that you can't steal your way into a relationship with father god you can do that into a position with man but then you still gonna end up falling in the end because you have to reap what you sow no matter what. So be mindful of how you are perceiving things, what you meditating on, how you acting, how you reacting. And how you choose to deal with the situation. And when it comes, see me, I... Like you, you should just be careful when it comes to exposing people because 
if you're not going to do it right, like you, when it comes to exposing people, remember, you could have a, in your own, depending on who you're exposing, it can be truth in it while you're exposing them, right? But if you're exposing them in an aggressive manner, remember, they still got a child. He still created them. He's going to judge. He, when he say he got no respecter of man or favorable man or whatever, he going to judge both of y'all. He going to look at both of y'all because you bringing up charges against them. And since he got to look at them, and he, now he's going to look at you too. It's not that you just get to bring up charges against somebody spiritually and then Father God just going to overlook the fact of you got hidden stuff that you ain't dealt with, ever tried to deal with or nothing, Right? So you want to be careful, especially when you're doing stuff publicly, like you publicly trying to expose somebody specifically and you intending because you want to see God deal with them. You want to be careful with that because you don't want to be perceived by Father God that you're trying to, ex- how you say, expedite his hand of judgment on someone because that's what you want to see or that's what you feel is due. You got to be careful because they still his child or they still his creation. And when Father God allowing you to go through certain things, your reaction is going to be paid attention to. And taken a, it's going to be taken account of. Because if, your, if you, by you going through whatever you say they put you through, right? If you expose them, was you trying to hurry up and let people know, then that means you took an act of revenge. So you did what you, you, you went outside of God's accord at that moment because even if Father God wanted to chastise them, how do you know that's how God wanted to chastise them? Like, yeah, Father God seen you to do certain things, but you just want to make sure it's not because you're frustrated and you're mad at this person or you perceiving this person to be doing this. And it's not really the case. Or if it is the case. You just want to be careful. When it comes to exposing pe- people. And how you expose people. And the spirit that you exposing people in. So. Yeah I think that's it for this message. Until next time. I love you guys.